Today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna test the Skulk Horde mod. And this mod is basically an infection mod based around the Skulk. And today we're gonna see what exactly this mod do and how much it spreads around. I've always been fascinated by things that evolve and things that go on their own. That's why I love mob battle. It's like the same thing, but the things about infection is you never know how big it's gonna get. And as we can see, this is only one Skulk Spore Spewer. That's a mouthful. And it's already covered covering the whole mountain here and it's been like two minutes we're gonna try with vanilla structure we're gonna try with modded structure and we'll see how far it can go and let's infect a village and we have one right next to spawn this is a really living village we have some jumping guards what is happening here what we're gonna do is simply spawn a few of these skulk spores pure around the village like on a house here or in this town hall here library library so sir you have to live with this guy bye we can already see that it's spreading to the logs and the ground and the cobblestone but not the planks so some blocks are immune to the transmutation why are they jumping like that i've never seen them do that but at least they are defending their village, so maybe it's gonna be harder for the infection to go through the village. There's a few mice here and there that are, in fact, killing the villagers, well, the guards. Alright, we'll come back and see in a few minutes. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's see how advanced it is. Oh my god. Is there anything left alive? Golem is gone. Well, there's Skulk mobs, of course. Yeah, that's the thing I'm, I'm talking about. What is this? Skulk bee nest cell. I don't know what you can do with that. Oh, look at that. That's uh, Skulk summoner. It's getting triggered by this one, but it's, it's supposed to summon stuff. But for now, it's not summoning anything. Some of the block are not corrupted, like the dirt path, the planks, the fences. But most of the natural blocks are wow look at that it went this way why what happened this way there must have been more mobs i think all right let's see if we can infect something else oh my god look at what we found i have the repurposed structure mod and i didn't think there was some of them in the overworld it's basically a nan city but made out of wood skyward cities oh that is really interesting oh and it's right next to an infested dungeon okay let's infect both there's not gonna be a time lapse on every one of them because i have to keep my minecraft open there's no replay mod in this version so i'm just gonna make it play in the background and i'll come back when it's infected wait there's villagers all right just by the time i went and placed the spore thing over there it's already like the, the top is already become converted and there's like yeah there's the mics hello you're gonna die all right i don't know how long it's been uh, what is a skull candleman what is happening down there? Oh, Skulk Creeper. Anyway, it's been like an hour, I think, or something like that. Everything is converted here. Even the... Gr oh my god. And uh, almost the whole tower. Let's go inside. Anyone here? Hello? Okay, so most of the block here cannot be converted. So only logs and... Is that it? Wait, raid Handler. Starting wave... Z yeah, there's a raid? Okay, so the whole building is now convert. Oh, wow. Okay, so it seems like after a certain point, there's like other mobs that are spawning and not just the mites. And that's a ravager. So they can just freely spawn like this. This is how big it's got. Oh my god. Imagine this in a normal world. It's gonna spread so much. Also, what are these trees? Willow from Biome Makeover. Oh, let's find a mansion. Let's find a, a Biome Makeover's mansion. All right, we found one, but these things are massive and they like spread multiple chunks and they are also really tall and they go really far below. So let's spread the skulk in this mansion and let's see how much of it will be corrupted. I really, I really enjoy this. <laughs> I want more mods like this. There's another one I'm gonna check soon. Which I think it's called Spore Infection or something like that. I'm gonna check this one out too. But let's go, let's chuck a bunch of these guys around the mansion so they can corrupt everything. All right, it's been a while. Let's see. And we are in a raid. Okay, but 
Let's see how big it's got. Okay, seems like the whole mansion. Oh my god. What the heck is happening here? Yeah, the whole mansion. Everything that can be corrupted, skulkified, is skulkified. Except downstairs. It hasn't got far. Let's add a few of these just to... Oh, there's a mine chat, but look at that. Except the andesite and the smooth stone, the whole stairs are skulk now. I'm just really curious what's gonna happen in here. Because there is some spawners with some spiders. How will they react? And there's also the bus. Over there, there's the adjudicator. And he's just chilling here in his room. So I really wonder what's gonna happen. Oh boy, it's getting everywhere. There's some mice going in. It's gonna They're gonna wake up the adjudicator. Yep. That that was just a mite. It did like nothing, but now what's gonna happen? <gasps> There's got one going in. Oh my god, it one shot the dude! How much damage does this thing do? 22. Um that's way too much. Oh, this guy would be attacked. Yep. But they are ignoring the Judicator for now. Oh, it's coming, it's going, it's going. I'm missing the fight, I'm missing. This guy's getting destroyed! Oh my god. He's gonna get wrecked. Oh, there's the Enderman. He's almost dead. Excuse me, what? Why aren't you shooting arrows? You're like, corrupted Enderman, not Archer. Oh, it's dead. It's all already. The whole mansion has been taken over by Skulk. Sadly, there's no way for the Skulk to spread in the Nether or the End because there is no block variant for like Netherrack or Endstone. So we'll have to stay in the Overworld. Oh my god, the whole forest around it is starting to become Skulk. <laughs> Right, so there's a Tornborn Tower next to one of these Flying Corsair or something like that. I forgot the name. And I think these have a lot of spawners, so... Wait, that's spawn! That's my spawn! I... Oh my god, I... we're back spawn. Anyway, I see we see how far we can go with the corruption in these two buildings. Alright, the Spore Spewer has been placed. Let's go back in a while to see how much it is infected. Alright, it's been a while. Let's see how... It converted the whole structure, so... For the flying ship, all of the logs are converted, but that's it. Yeah, that's it. There's no other types of block on it that can be converted, and there isn't much mobs. There isn't many mobs, in fact. Well, there's a creeper here. But on the Tornborn Tower, well, most of the tower is converted, so this is infested terracotta. Okay, and there's the logs. We have granite, but not bricks, planks, other types of terracotta. And there is some mobs here and there. I can hear the squishing of the mites. Right now, if we wanted to convert this all back to what it was, we can craft purification flask or infestation purifier. And for that, you need to find a brain node somewhere underground in the world. Sometimes they will spawn. Don't know how often they do spawn and where you can find them. But I guess basically you're supposed to just place it down like this and it's going to... Oh boy, it's okay, it's burning like everything in a radius. Sounds like a beacon. Oh, we can push it. It's it's an entity. It's not a block. It has HP. Oh, so you have to protect it while it purifies the area. That is interesting, but these are not burning. Right click to drop back into item. On dev does not drop. An entity that spawns removes skulk infestation from the area. If it cannot find any more infestation within its range, it will drop. You can also throw these potions that are crafted with golden apples and bottles to like, yeah, revert things back and destroy the skulk. It is, it is corrupting faster than... what? But anyway, that's gonna be it for today. The link is in the description. As always, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!